I don't know if you've noticed this, but people, so there's these different like phases going from, oh, that seems really important to I'm doing it now, you know, for, for those two extremes. So the first extreme is, or the first end, the first, the beginning of, of uh, a thing like this is kind of going, oh, wow, thanks for sharing that with me. I didn't know that. I'm really shocked. I have this epiphany, you know, and you kind of go, oh, I better... I should probably lose weight or start exercising or smoke less or drink less. Are you trying to tell someone? No, I'm not. All right. You know, (laughs) this is a, what do you call that, a uh, intervention. Yeah, all right. Um, But, you know, so the first hurdle is having your eyes open to the truth. Right. Um, And usually that's where people stop. So you could think, you know, shoot, listening to a, uh, taking a class, you know, listening to a, a, a podcast, for example, you know, or reading a book. Uh, it's like where you go, oh, man, that's really important. Mm-hmm. Great. Got it. So you have the epiphany. But then the second hurdle. So, so the first hurdle is just not having the epiphany. Second hurdle is um, being able to take this thing you just learned about that is important and putting it in context of a bigger vision, being able to kind of put it in a some into some uh, long-term plan or vision, and, and give it some context where you can say, "Oh, this is how this fits now into the rest of my life, or the rest of my plan, or some sort of bigger picture." Mm-hmm. Uh, most folks, uh, present company included, struggle with that. I think where they take this thing they learn and they go. Now what do I do with it? That's most people. Yeah, and it, and it just kind of sits there, and it's, you can see that's important. Mm-hmm. You've listened to somebody that's really passionate or convincing about it, and then, but now what? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, now inside of there, I would say most folks don't have a bigger plan. They don't actually have a um, overarching goal for their life now we learned about this somewhat from the book grit and other things of course our tooling is built all around this we help folks create a pathway to their land of awesome um but the point is is that once you have this epiphany you got to drop it into context into some sort of bigger picture Mm -hmm. okay then you hit a third hurdle or a third kind of wall if you will uh, which is, I'm going to call it just framework or format, where uh, having a big plan is great, but if you don't have an, an operating system, some execution formula or format um, where you say, all right, this is what my week's going to look like, this is how I'm going to execute, mm-hmm. this is how I'm going to measure forward progress, this is how I'm going to check off what needs done, whether it's big stuff or little stuff, this is how I'm going to make sure I say no to stuff that's keeping me from doing these seven things I'm saying yes to. Uh, folks don't. Uh, folks struggle with the framework. And the framework, you could say one example of a framework is your calendar. You know, that's a framework that you look at and put stuff on and see if you did it or a thing chirps and chimes or, in my case, I have a paper <laughs> calendar. I love the... uh, You just hear whoosh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The paper does not yell at me. It is a one-way deal. Um, And I love the two-day or the two-page full-size. It's a, you know, what is that? Eight and a half by 11, a standard Mm -hmm. page. Um, And you open it up, and there's a whole week there. And lots of space to write around stuff and make notes and so forth. So on, scratch out things that you canceled or whatever. Right. Uh, And I found that for me... That framework is a lot more uh, conceptually. It works better for me because I'm looking at my whole week in one shot mm-hmm. and I'm understanding it. When I look at a digital calendar, you know, we use whatever it is, Google Calendar. I don't even know what we it's use. It's Google. Is yeah. it Google? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I, yeah. I keep track yeah. of that. So, um, but it's the same thing, though. Yeah. It's a week I mean, view. I know we have something. It's I don't a week look view. at it. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> um, but I see the whole week at one point. Yeah. And well, it's not your week either. It's both of our weeks. It's our week. Yeah. Our weeks, yeah. yeah. And there's They're a lot combined, of power so, in yeah, that, right? It, it's really cool, actually. A lot of people use these but, digital okay. calendars. It's great. I'm not bashing the digital calendar. I'm just yeah. saying that they're uh, they're narrow. They work yeah. really good at a very specific thing. Mm-hmm. 
which is reminding you, okay, it's 10 minutes before, an hour before, great. And then, you know, keeping keep getting other people to email you, uh, you know, accept your invitation, all that stuff. That's all great. That, that, that helps a lot. But what it doesn't help is to kind of zoom out a little bit and go, hmm, what's my week look like? And all you see is these little, these little boxes and you're looking on your phone that's that big or even your, you know, iPad or your computer. And it's a little hard to get a overarching view of your week. Uh, so that's why I like the two page week at a glance um, combined with the digital stuff. So anyway, that's an example of a framework. Now, so that's the third hurdle folks hit when they kind of go, oh, I should be doing more of that. Uh, and then the last hurdle is um, getting it done. It's actually the, the grit or the perseverance or the passion that keep coming back day after day after day, just putting in the miles, mm -hmm. you know, and that's kind of that fourth part. And that comes from, you know, work ethic. It comes from having a really good sense of that ultimate destination. You know, that's where the passion grows your grit and that sort of thing. So those are the four hurdles.